Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your, this is an eclipse reading, eclipse energy. This is just an energy that my guides are going to give me for you. Okay, so this is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What you can be expecting to deal with, what might come to the surface, you know, what you might be feeling, who might come in, whatever comes up, comes up. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is just a message from my guides for you around this eclipse. Basically, from the 15th to the 31st that's what I of July is what I'm intending it for, but the eclipse energies tend to, you know, they tend to last longer. So this is the full moon eclipse uh, energy. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up for you, Scorpio. What do we have, dear God, angel spirits, and universe for Scorpio? What can they expect to be dealing with during this time? This will not resonate with every single person. What do we have for Scorpio? Action! Action! Somebody is taking action. Somebody could be right on your tail, or you may be right on somebody else's tail. You could be dealing with somebody who is a, is of a different culture than you, somebody that is completely different than you. But we do have something happening. It's like you can't get away from this. It's not something that um, you even probably really do want to get away from. It's just like catch me if you can, and there but somebody is about to. Somebody's catching up. Okay, somebody's catching up. Somebody is somebody is like probably right after you either they're right after you or you're right after them okay um yeah moving very very quickly what do we have for scorpio playful it's a very playful energy it is what do we have for scorpio Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This could absolutely be a soulmate. So you could have a soulmate connection here. This is something that you cannot escape from. You can't escape from it, right? You can't. So this is the answer to your prayers, apparently. Apparently. For some of you. If not, just take action right now. Take that time to, you know, visualize and set those intentions because you have the potential right now to call in your soulmate. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Have faith. Do you believe what I just said to you or did you automatically dismiss it? What's 2-2? Two, 2-2? Two? Two, two, two? Twos are about partnerships. So have faith, believe. Call, you have the potential to call in your soulmate at the and maybe you have. Maybe you have. I'm gonna read this card for you. Twenty two. Let's read the card first. Faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident to the naked eye. To generate more faith, focus on the why. Your dreams, desires, feelings, attitudes, and thinking, and not on the how. Action plan, strategies, and skills. Your whole life you have been taught to think about the how, which leads to doubt and fear. The wisdom of this card is asking you to only focus on the why. The magic that will happen if you stop focusing on the how and only the why is that after some time of practice, you will notice that the how will present itself to you. I'm telling you what, if you ask for it and call it in and you focus on it, probably within no time, okay, somebody's going to come into your life they're going to come in and it's in and, and you're not even going to be able to escape the connection okay if this hasn't happened it could happen during this time 
if you've already released, if you've already surrendered, it could certainly happen. Um, but this this person is not who you expect to be it to be. Put it that way. This person's completely different. They're not who you think it is. You have to surrender, and you have to believe, and you have to have faith. Okay. Um, black and white has significance here black hair blonde hair black and white so black and white and this is black and white you know it's it, this whoever this person is that you're dealing with there's there's a there's a lot of differences but it's perfect okay um interesting It is through your focused positive thinking that you thinking that you will create people, circumstances and events that will take you closer to your dreams. Faith is knowing that everything is going to work out the best possible way no matter what things look like. So this person is not who you think it is, okay? It's not their looks may not be what you're used to. Okay. What do we have for Scorpio? You have a new beginning here, the fresh start, starting with a clean slate. Good news. This is good news. You're, you're going to be receiving some sort of message from somebody that really, really excites you. You have an exciting opportunity here, but there's always a but. There's something that is incompatible. There's some sort of... Uh, disharmony. There's some sort of disharmony within a union. You may feel like this isn't traditional. You may feel like this is lack of faith. Oh, yes. This is lack of faith. Lack of faith that you're going to find the right one. If you don't have faith, then you're in trouble. You have a new suitor. You have somebody that is very well suited that is about to burst right into your world. And I'm not kidding, especially if you're single. If you are in a coupled relationship, this could be an opportunity to rekindle a flame. I'm not kidding. To start over. To start fresh. You have to have faith. Believe that you can do that. Um, this is your own mental prison. If you don't believe that you are going to be with the one, if you don't believe that something can work out, if you don't have faith, if you let your own negative thoughts take control, well, your thoughts truly do become things. Eight of Cups, that's emotional disappointment right there. Confusion, illusion, options. You have many options. You might have to completely walk away from somebody that, you know, you've been stuck on. Because this is stuck. This is trapped on a partnership. You may have been stuck on somebody and you've got to completely turn your back on that. You have somebody new here. Queen of Cups, that's you or whoever you're dealing with. You know, emotionally available, ready for love, a big opportunity for love. This person is very compassionate, a very big heart, nurturing, caring, kind, calm, a very tranquil, intuitive individual. This may be you. It could be the person that you're dealing with. If this is you taking on this energy, somebody sees your beauty. They do. They see your big heart. They see your the opportunity as... Very abundant, okay? This person right here is very intuitive. They have um, psychic abilities, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Listen, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition. Something is about to be revealed that you didn't see, 
Okay, you may not have seen this coming. Maybe you did. I don't know. But if something has been hidden, something has been hidden, it's about to be revealed. Something is about to come into your life that you didn't see coming. That's the way I see it. But you're distrustful, right? You don't trust. You don't trust. And you probably don't trust because you were in a partnership with somebody that, you know, didn't commit. Whatever. You got a new opportunity here to start fresh. To let go of the baggage. You have multiple options. Something is about to be revealed to you that you did not see coming. Eight of Cups, you're going to have to leave a, leave behind that negative thinking. You're going to have to leave behind the emotional disappointment of the partnership that didn't work out. You're going to have to, you know, open your heart all the way. And you're going to have to trust and you're going to have to have faith. You may have been in a controlling situation with somebody that tried to control you. You may be trying to control. You may be you may be clinging to control. You may be self-sabotaging yourself. You may be holding on some, to some anger from a past relationship that didn't work out. You maybe that's what you got to release. Maybe you were abused by somebody. Maybe you were uh, verbally abused or mentally abused or whatever. Maybe you were neglected, and that's where your fear comes from. You know, but this is letting go of the past hurts, letting go of the past pains. Let go of the need to control, go with the flow. You don't need to do, you don't need to plan everything. Sometimes you got to go against the grain. Sometimes you just need to allow. You know, there's a lot of negative thinking here. If you don't think positive, then, you know, you like I said, your thoughts become things. There's an opportunity for happiness here. I think somebody is gonna is really going to burst into your life and you need to have faith. You need to trust and you need to give this person a chance. I feel like you are probably dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius that is coming in. Um, this person is very attractive. This person is very... Um, this person is a visionary. This person is an entrepreneur. This person is very creative this person um, is very very passionate so I feel like you have a fire sign that is coming into your life that really has a lot to offer you but you have to allow it you have to go with it don't let the past partnership don't keep clinging to that don't keep don't keep holding on to that Maybe this person is the same sign that you dealt with before and you're scared. Don't let, don't let fear get in the way. This is an exciting opportunity. You are about to be presented with an uh, opportunity to start fresh with somebody that can really excite you. Put it that way. This person is abundant. This person has their shit together. This person is self-sufficient. This person has their own money. This person takes care of business. This person might even be a business owner. This, you know, this is you holding on, okay? Hold, seriously, it's time to complete that chapter of your life. It's time, time for you to learn your lesson about clinging to control. Allow things to happen. It's time to complete that old partnership that you've been holding on to. That has caused you pain. Let go of the past hurts. Let go of the emptiness. It's time. It's time for you to be abundant. Let go of the dead end. This is holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. Let go of it. Release it. There's no new beginning there. Break free. Make a conscious change to let go of that partnership that doesn't reciprocate. That won't commit to you. 
You have a new opportunity here with somebody that is very passionate, somebody that is very enthusiastic, somebody that is very attractive, and somebody that doesn't have a lot of baggage. But you gotta let go of your old ideas and you gotta let go of your old ways. And you gotta stop isolating yourself and you gotta open up. And you gotta you gotta invest in something new. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's your time, Scorpio. Take your power back. Don't give your power away. Be honest with yourself. Accept. We got somebody here that is not accepting. When something ends, it ends for a reason. You got something else here. This is that crossroad. You can stay here where there's no commitment, there's no happiness, or you, or you can move into something new. You're going to be presented with the choice during this time to start over, to start fresh. You've got a fresh new beginning here with somebody that is very sexy, very well put together has their own money, knows how to get things done. This person is active. This person is very intuitive. You guys will be able to speak to each other. You'll be able to speak to each other telepathically. The connection will be so deep. This is all part of the script. Don't fight it. Some of you are reluctant to move on. You are reluctant. To, you're not mastering your emotions. <coughs> There's lack of faith here. You need to have faith. It's you're gonna be. You're gonna give. Take a risk. You're gonna be presented with a new beginning here, and you are being called to take a risk. Whoever this person is that is coming into your life as if out of the blue, like wildfire, this person, I think this person is part of the script. I think that this person will help you to move on. I think this person is your fresh start. They could be a soulmate. Soulmate and twos, that's soulmate. Twos are soulmate. Give them a chance. Take this risk. Let go of your insecurities. Stop letting yourself or allowing yourself to be a victim of the circumstances that didn't work out. Leave that shit behind and start over because you got somebody new here that is coming in. If they, if, if, call them in, call them in. You have the power right now to call them in. This is not something you will be able to escape from because I feel like it is divinely guided. I feel like it is part of the script. Lack of faith. Lack of believing. If you want your soulmate, you have to believe and you have to trust and you have to have faith wish for it and you'll get it and that this is a time for you to make a wish seriously make a wish and you need to put the brakes on the partnership that you have been holding on to that makes you feel empty inside the world card is emptiness, the world reversed, that, that may, that's hurting you, that's causing you pain. 
You will be presented with the opportunity to release that dead end. You will be. Of course, the choice is yours. So during this time, you will be presented with a choice to break free or to hold on to the dead end. Something is below the surface that you don't see. They're just waiting for you to believe. That's what I got. Good luck.